Hello, I'm here again and I would like to talk about, uh, oh first let me let me tell you that I really uh, hope that I can make some kind of meow sense. Um, I'm trying uh, and uh, also I would like to uh, wish you all the best and I hope that God is with you uh, and he gonna look over you all his unlimited love and compassion would protect you from all the harm I was thinking seeing some of the media I'm not talking about the mainstream media, corporate-owned, uh, uh, big business media. I'm talking about some media that maybe are not corporate, and I hope that is not corporate-owned. Um, they were actually bashing the Pope. Uh, now, yeah, uh, everything is up to debate, but bashing the Pope, when the Pope is talking about destruction of the nature I'm talking about destruction of forest deforestation destruction of the of the sea life of the oceans um, uh, plankton small fish big fish and so forth well mm, I like fishes so uh, I really appreciate that that we're gonna have fishes forever um, now when people are bashing the Pope and they are saying that he's um, some people said that he's an anti-Christ I'm not sure exactly when Christ was for uh, concrete buildings concrete um, um, cities with uh, endless roads uh, smoke um, noise um, parks disappearing for flat uh, shopping centers for God's sakes people come on city engineers you don't have a brain in that head really flat flattened out airport type of shopping centers you could not think about levels level one two three four five and so forth every store on a level so actually people can walk up on the stairs they might exercise a little bit hmm anyways um, when people are bashing the Pope that he's talking about social inequality I'm not sure how that can be considered anti-christian or even uh, anti-christ Christ as far as I know was never promoting a rich uh, condescending uh, attitude of the feudalist system um, I think that you should read a little bit into that and if you go to the churches and talk with your pastor and actually you should think for yourself not what the pastor is gonna tell you because many of these pastors they have no idea what they talk about they promote everything what is not Christian like for example they promote big pharma or big businesses they promote Western medicine which it's proven that it's not holistic it's just pushing some pharmaceuticals in our body well I'm not sure if this is Christian I don't think so but some people bashing the Pope and they're saying that he's Jesuit ah and they said well the Pope is Jesuit and he's one of those radical Jesuits uh, whatever formation sects or whatever how they call it sometimes well let's be honest let's hope that he's taking Christianity and following of Jesus Christ very serious and in the other hand let's remember that he was promoting uh, a lot of clean energy he was telling Christians 
to spend the money only on healthy stuff, on renewable energy, stuff that doesn't pollute and destroy the earth and our body and health. Well, I think that this is a good idea and this should be taken very seriously if you like yourself somehow and if you consider that your body it's actually a gift and uh, if you consider that it's a temple I mean you should really put the best ingredients into that and uh, not get into the genetically modified stuff that they tell you that it's healthy and it's good but you're not supposed to know that and should not be labeled because you're not supposed to find out that oh they are GMOs but they are absolutely good for you well if it's good for you why you have to hide that why do you have to hide the BPA that in a plastics and stuff like that what was in the good times when you bought milk in a glass and yogurt was in a in a glass and um, was not promoting these GMOs and pushing over people and pushing over states and now they're gonna push over countries and they might even fight wars with countries who they do not accept GMOs which let's be honest doesn't make sense because if you go by the Christian fact that actually God created all of us and he was checking it out and he decided that everything is good I'm not sure why a few companies who actually they are some military based companies profit and militarized and buy up private armies why they make something that interfere with God and who were there to say that that's not correct and it should be avoided in any cost it's considered antichrist and how come that he's considered uh, uh, anti-capitalist well I know that he is because capitalism in most of the people's life it's nothing else just a distribution of wealth from rich to richer and from poor to rich and it's just an upstream from poor to rich and they become richer and more powerful and what they do with that money they buy politicians and they're gonna force the GMOs, they're gonna force the deforestation, they're gonna force the companies that they destroy the nature on us. Hmm, interesting. But they say the Pope is not a Christian Pope and maybe he's an Antichrist. Well, let's rethink this. And if you are a Christian, live a Christian life think like a Christian and actually buy support with your money everything what is for the health of your body what is for the health of this beautiful planet we vote with our money let's do it folks let's do it I wish you all the best God bless you all bye